All right, they are in Panini Flux Retail. Um, I was going to go after a hobby or first offline, but I just decided to get a couple of blaster boxes as soon as they became available. So let's open these things up. Oh, I mean, I think a Flux is the epitome of a love it or hate it product because of the design. Um, so there's a few different retail exclusive inserts they've come out with. It's their first year that they've done this retail. They've always been in like um, like your Chronicles type stuff. There is Mojo Prisms. Uh, again, at least there's a bunch of numbered options. That's always what I like to see. Because nowadays numbered is where a lot of your value is at. So a couple of small packs. Lots of security. Looks as quite the popular as the rest. I don't know, maybe that'll change with popularity, but this is why. It's one of those cards where you look at and people either love the design or hate it. I do like that it is kind of a nice sleek design. Three cards per pack. So there's only 18 cards in a box. Yes, you read that right. Three cards, six packs, 18 cards for $30. Um, so that's probably the biggest issue because the value, the resale value, isn't there. So Gordon Hayward, Sean Holmes, and we have a Cam Reddish Blue. Nice and off-centered, even. So Cam Reddish Blue. Ooh, that one kind of feels thicker. We'll throw it on the bottom. Don't know if that means it's not like they're throwing much memorabilia or anything in these. So, Donovan Mitchell. Sam Merrill. Of all the rookies you've heard of, right? And a P.J. Tucker. And this is why I'm opening a couple of boxes, because there's not a lot of cards in these. Jason Kidd. Killian Hayes and Andrew Wiggins. So you're back. Again, if you get a good, sleek, well-centered card, and really, in my personal opinion, I don't mind quality control on centering as much because if you're going to grade, that is, at least those are going to be you know rare cards. But if you look at like these mosaics or products in the last year where you have you know 10,000 PSA 10s, um, that's not going to value anyway. So people complain about quality control, but then you can't, you know, you can't have both. Robert Covington, Tyrell Terry, and Blake Griffin. Well, not impressed with the rookies we've pulled so far, that's for sure. Oh, that definitely looks like a thicker card or a different card in there. Nas Reed, Kawhi Leonard. It is backwards, isn't it? Well, let's make this a little more suspenseful and use our Kawhi to cover this one up. Nope, it wasn't backwards. What do we got here then? Well, let's see. Darius Garland, Damian Lillard. That was not that exciting. Deja Vu. Still a base card, not a prism or anything special. So our first box has been tragic. Yeah, one more. We're going to get a prism in here, I'm sure. Eric Bledsoe. P-Bev. Pete Maravich. And that is the mojo, I'm assuming. Which is interesting because we did not get the two on average that we're supposed to get. We did get a blue, uh, but it's not like the blue was numbered or anything. So we did get a blue one. And then this is our mojo of P. 
Pete Maravich. I mean, definitely a cool looking card. And this is why we open two boxes, because if the other box is that, I'm not gonna say the word trash, but that was a pretty trashy box. No good rookies, no good beer. I mean, there wasn't even a good card in that box. No offense to you, Pete Maravich, but uh, this is gonna not make this a popular product. It really is gonna put it in the category of um, Illusions Chronicles if they don't have a good uh, amount of uh, quality cards out of them. So, all right, we got Rui. Neesmith, like we are getting the low of low rookies right now in Caruso. At least we're getting two mo or getting a mojo already in this one. Hardaway. Terrence Ross. I'm gonna keep that with the other ones and we'll do a recap of both boxes. Not a very positive recap, so let's let's see what we can get here. Let's see what we can get here. Vince Carter. Giannis. DeJounte Murray. It is a prism. All right. We only have a couple packs left here. CJ McCollum. Xavier Tillman. Steph Curry. So the worst thing is I had heard and seen that even like a, a, an Edwards rookie and this is only eight to ten bucks. So um, here in their hard to pull as a base rookie and not only are they hard to pull you're only getting ten bucks for a rookie. Uh, that's just not good. I mean again P. Will we at this point would be better off you could go and buy for sixty dollars you buy six base rookies and james harden so we are already on our last pack miles turner kyle lowry and a kevin durant Kawhi Leonard. You know, I bought three of these on Target the other morning. I'm going to open the third box just because there has to be more than this. <laughs> if you guys open boxes like I do, I mean, $30 a piece, and this is the best that we've come up with. And you guys are like I am. I mean, if you watch that video, you're never going to want to open a box. So I'm going to open three for three in this video since they've been a quick open anyway. So security tag, maybe that means a good thing for it to be sitting on the top of the box. And that's why we do the videos. That's why I like doing this. Not because of obviously packs like these, but it's so important to kind of know what, what you're looking at. So... Looks like we're getting a blue mojo. Duncan Robinson. And I wanna see, just because, before I even look at that card. All right, so we have flux base silver, light blue pink, black flux silver. So I wonder if it's only if you get the black flux signatures, gold black numbered. Yeah, that's what it would kind of look like, so. I'm assuming so, so let's see what we got here. Can we get something to make up for these boxes? I already saw the last three letters and you could already tell they weren't anybody big. Garrett Temple. There we go. Blue Mojo to 99. Of Garrett Temple, of all we wanted and more. And that really doesn't make me feel confident for what we're gonna pull in the rest of this box. If we already wasted our 299. Shake Milton. Emmanuel quickly. And Josh Jackson. 
Man, only 18 cards in a box. I mean, that is like true lottery at this point. Sergei Ibaka. Flux Appeal. That was a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But I don't really care about vets and new cards, to be honest. Flex Appeal. Anthony Davis. At least we got some type of an insert with a star. All right, we're getting another blue card. Colin Sexton. Kyle Anderson. I mean, you guys have seen I post in a lot of videos. I don't think I've ever seen boxes where every single variation you're getting is of, I mean, I don't want to say nobody, but of literally nobody. Russell Westbrook. Grayson Allen. D'Angelo Russell. Hey, I love the Wolves, but come on. Come on, Panini. What are you doing? I mean, you buy three boxes. I mean, I haven't even gotten a rookie we barely ever heard of. Last pack. Ben Simmons. Skyler Mays. I mean, I'm telling you, so out of three boxes, so let's say $100, we have base of nobodies. We have, and this is in two boxes, the last box is right here. I mean, of the first two boxes, I mean, so for rookies, we got a Patrick Williams, a bunch of mojos of nothing, nothing, a Killian Hayes, so literally two rookies. And I opened three of the third box just because I'm angry. Uh, Skyler Mays, our D. Russell, Kyle Anderson, Flux Appeal. We get one Emmanuel Quickly, besides for this rookie. And then we get our actual Blue Mojo to 99 of Garrett freaking Temple. And so, um, yeah. Man, I'm telling you, we know one person is ending up good in this deal, and that is Panini. So I don't know if I'd want to get uh, more of these or not. I mean, it would be very difficult, and I don't even know if you hit a big card. And I'll look. Usually what I'll do is look up something like this and say, all right, LaMelo Ball, Blue Mojo to 99. And if that card is not going for a crazy amount, it wouldn't be worth it because if it goes for $30 to $50 and you're not going to pull it unless you buy 15 boxes, 20 boxes, you're better off just buying the card. You know, uh, this is this is with Chronicles and Illusions. This seems to me it's a fancier looking uh, card, uh, like a low end, very low end prism at this point. So, again, all personal opinion. You might buy one box and hit something great, but we opened three, and you could see what we pulled out of three. So it's up to you. Maybe leave in some comments if you pull some better cards than me. Good luck.